What's up guys, Swag, you're back. Today we're reacting to an article titled Why I'm Picking the Eagles to Barely Beat the 49ers on Sunday. Now, I just want to state that I did pick the Eagles to win this game solely from the fact that they're at home. They had an incredible season, not that the Niners didn't, but the Eagles were the best team from start to finish. They have Jalen Hurts, they have the best pass rush, they have the best one-two corner punch. Nick Sirianni, he's not Kyle Shanahan, not even close, but that's really the 49ers' only advantage. And Okay, the Niners' defense is terrifying. I mean, this is a, a team that they didn't give up a single 100-yard rushing game to a running back. Like, Josh Jacobs had, like, 64 yards against them. Josh Jacobs led the NFL at scrimmage yards. D'Amico Ryans is unbelievable, so unbelievable that he's the favorite for not only one but two head coaching jobs, the Texans and the Broncos. Brock Purdy, we know he can go on the road. I'm not necessarily worried about Brock Purdy and his ability. I'm worried about the Eagles having the best pass rush in the league to whereas the Cowboys, they get pretty troubles. I know – Dan Quinn deserves a lot of credit, but still, it only gets more difficult. But I have the Eagles winning, but that doesn't mean that the 49ers can't win this game. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if they do. CMC goes crazy. Eliza Mitchell, the offensive line, holds up. Brad Purdy throws you know, two touchdowns, 250 yards. There's a lot of weapons, right? Like, the Niners have – they have the better weapons. They have Kittle, who is a top-two tight end in the league. They have Ayuk, who went over 1,000 yards. They have Debo Samuel. They have McLeod. They have – Ushek, the best fullback in the game, Shanahan calling the like the 49ers are an elite team. They've won the most games in the NFL to this point. More the Bengals have won 10. The Niners, the Niners have won 12 right at the top of my head. So picking the Eagles to beat like nobody's picking the Eagles necessarily because they're better. It's just it's the home field and it's Jalen Hurts. Like overall, roster wise, the 49ers can compete with anyone. They might be the best, but Brock Purdy, he's only been around for a couple of months. Jalen Hurts had a whole year under his belt where Purdy literally a couple of months. So that's the difference to me is the quarterback play, man. But hopefully I'm wrong because I, I want the 49ers to win. Like I'm rooting for the Niners. I just have the Eagles winning. And also, you know, I've done a very poor job picking who wins games. You can go look at my predictions video. I had the Bucks winning. I had the Chargers winning. I had the Vikings winning. I had the Bills winning. So if you're a Niners fan and you see me picking the Eagles, you'd probably be happy because I can't predict games very well. But I thought I would get that out of the way, man. Let's just dive right into the article. So let's see how it is. I don't want to read it word for word, but let's start off with Brock Purdy. So it is entirely possible that the 49ers rookie quarterback will struggle a bit against the very talented Eagles defense in the largest game he's ever played. It's not out of the question that Purdy will get sped up by the Eagles pass rush and throw a lot less accurately than he has for most of the two months, including playoff victories over Seattle and Dallas. So Purdy had a good game against Dallas. He didn't throw for any touchdowns, but he didn't turn it over. Very respectable game. Did a good job of throwing it away, too, when no one was open instead of trying to be a hero. Remember, Purdy played four years of college at Iowa State, so he has a ton of experience, especially in big games and big moments. Now, obviously not the NFC Championship, a game away from the Super Bowl, but Brock Purdy, he did struggle under pressure against the Cowboys, but somebody made a good point in a comment. They were like, well, who doesn't struggle under pressure? I mean, quarterbacks obviously under pressure are going to be worse than when they're not, when they have a clean pocket. Now, there actually might be a couple of the quarterbacks who legitimately are better under pressure than a clean pocket, but again, Generally speaking, that isn't the case. So Purdy, do I expect him to have some struggles? Absolutely. But the Niners, how good their defense is, they don't, you don't get a run game going against them. Are the Eagles going to be able to win this game without a run game going? Because the Eagles, like you look at the Bengals and what they did against the Bills, they did 173 rushing yards or whatever. Are the Eagles going to be able to have, let's say, you know, 80, 90 rushing yards in this game and be able to win? Because the 49ers secondary definitely has concerns, but the Eagles, they've been so dominant because of Jalen Hurts rushing the ball and because of Miles Sanders and, you know, Gainwell and Scott, like all these different weapons. But if the 49ers can limit the Eagles run game, which I expect them to do that, and they can just get the ball quick out of Purdy's hands because they have playmakers, you know, IU, Debo, Kittle, like they have weapons and they can, like, they're going to be able to run the ball. The Eagles gave up over a hundred rushing yards, 13 times this season so if you think about it the 49ers they have really just as good of a chance to win this game as the Eagles only reason I think the Eagles will win is because of the 49ers traveling from you know, Santa Clara to Philadelphia we know how Eagles fans are and they're crazy 
And Jalen Hurts, to me, is just, if it wasn't for that injury late in the year, he wins MVP over Mahomes. And Mahomes is having one of the best seasons ever. But Jalen Hurts doing it with his rushing, doing it with the team winning record. I don't know. I'm, Mahomes is better than Jalen Hurts, but like obviously your record matters for MVP. It shouldn't, but it does. So I don't really expect – this is not my words. This is an article. And I really, really don't expect Purdy to look physically and mentally – incapable of meeting this moment again the 49ers might lose and the offense might not score a ton of points against the eagles who held opponents to the fewest yards per play 4.8 in the league during the regular season but steve young had some rattling times in his first few playoff starts for the 49ers he went two and two in his first two postseasons as the niners qb1 he was already in his 30s and that didn't signal the end of young's nfl future purdy is already tuned on the playoffs he could make himself a legend by leading the way to cerebral birth on sunday he could also hit the wall in such hostile territory and become a large part of a playoff exit that's fair but i feel like a lot of these analysts have been betting on purdy to not show up against the seahawks right against the cowboys even when he he came in for the dolphins and when he was the starter beyond that We've, we've seen these analysts say that if the Niners lose, it's because of Brock Purdy. But what if Purdy doesn't have a bad game? Like, what if he plays like he did against the the Cowboys? Like, if I were to tell you right now, Brock Purdy will not have an interception. Who are you picking to win the game? I'm taking the 49ers. It's completely possible. I mean, Shanahan is the best top five coach in the league. He's the best coach in the league at drawing up run plays and putting his guys in positions to succeed. So I'm not entirely – for the Eagles, if I, if I had to pick, I would I would go with them because if the, the Eagles really should not lose this game, like the Eagles should win. If they lose to a you know seventh round rookie quarterback at home after the year they have and coming off of a massive win against the Giants, in the sense of they dominated them, not the level of uh, talent of the opponent, but yeah, it's been a crazy story. I mean, it's hard to see the 49ers season also though ending after all this. Like they didn't go in the streak, they didn't unleash Brock Purdy and all these weapons and get Christian McCaffrey, right? Like they, they're finally doing their thing. And is it going to come to an end, man? I feel like the 49er season has to end with a win over the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. That's only right. So uh, what, what else is in the article? Nick Boza. I don't really want to read you guys quotes. Yeah, 12-game winning streak for the Niners. The 49ers, they love the stat, and it's a tremendous, very telling stat. Teams were 0-15 the week after they played the 49ers this season. Obviously, week one doesn't count in this, and one week the 49ers are had a bye. Okay, that's a crazy stat. I mean, when you play the 49ers, you're just not the same the, the week after. That's how much just wear and tear they do to you. I really wish we played you guys this year. I obviously, would have got our asses handed to us, but last year, obviously, my Colts beat you guys and literally was irrelevant. You guys were that close to going to the Super Bowl while we didn't make the playoffs I'm not flexing it but I'm just saying that it would have been really cool to see us go up against you guys Jonathan our offensive line is so ass though Boza would have had like three sacks three and a half sacks but I would have liked to see Jonathan Taylor I would have also liked to see how our defense schemes against your running game it would have just been fun man I don't know I like to play these top level teams we also lost to the Eagles by one point don't forget that you know we beat the Chiefs we lost to the Eagles by one point and we didn't play the Bengals, thankfully. I think we do next year. But, you know, it's it's the NFL, bro. Anything can happen. It's a week-to-week league. And I do have the Eagles winning, but also the more I read about this stuff, the more I see people say the Eagles will win this game. It's like the Niners want to be the underdog, right? The Niners want to be the underdog. So appreciate you guys, man. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like for the algorithm. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.